you're fucking so rogue right now, dude. It's what do you like, mean? Yeah, just, just listen. You're just uh, off you, the cuff. Because you guys are, you're dragging me down, people. Stop it. <laughs> you're dragging me down with I, all your. Old fucking snoozer over here. Any coffee or tequila <clears throat> or something. Ooh. <laughs> tequila ain't gonna help you. This is about control. Everybody knows. Everyone complies. Where the kinds of pros. I don't need a plane. I just hit the road. I do what I want. I can't sell my soul. Market about the crash. This is what you chose. Ruin in the country. I've been best to go. You gonna take the mark. I take never rolls. I'm a man of God. I can never Let's fold. Go. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Welcome to the Protect Your Purpose podcast where we talk whiskey, business, friends, family, and freedom. I'm your host, Matt Marchese, and this is my co-host, Zach. Great. Mm-hmm. Welcome to the show, buddy. Hey, dude. Or what's up? <laughs> Nothing. How are you? I feel like it's uh, it's very bullshitty when I say how are you because I already saw you and already said how are you. And we've talked. We, and we've talked in depth about how I am. And then now I'm like, welcome to the show. How are you? <laughs> kind of bullshitty. Uh, but it's not when we walk into the studio and I really don't know how you are. But today it was a lie. I have a confession. Anyway, today in the <laughs> studio, uh, we have a very, very special guest today. I would like to be the person, the man to introduce the one and only. <laughs> <laughs> My beautiful and lovely wife, Lindy. Welcome to the show. Thank honey. you very much. All right. She's back. Hold on. Josiah's calling me. Let's answer Guess it on the air. Back. Hold on. Hello, Josiah. What's happening? What's going on, buddy? How are you? Good. Are hey. you a licensed contractor, technically? I think you legally have to oh, tell him he's on the air. Technically. Oh, legally. Well, you're calling into the show. We're recording a podcast right now, and you are now uh, on the air. So welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> hey Josiah, what tell the audience tell the audience what you think about uh uh Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley? Yeah. Or I, mean, I recognize the name, but oh. Okay. What oh, about is that is that the Republican that's technically a Democrat? That's... <laughs> <laughs> you know ev- <laughs> you owe ev- you know everything you need to know about Nikki Haley. <laughs> so all right, we'll bleep the rest of the her. We'll we'll bleep the rest of the conversation out uh, about you illegally trying to <laughs> an obvious misuse, and we'll see if we can get you taken care of on the. <laughs> Talk to you later, buddy. Oh, that was an interesting fun. See, see, we can do all sorts of things like people calling into the. You're show. fucking so rogue right now, dude. It's what do you funny. mean? Yeah, you're just listen. You're just uh, off you, the cuff. Because you guys are, you're dragging me down, people. Stop it. <laughs> you're dragging me down. With all I, your old fucking snoozer over here. Any coffee or tequila <clears throat> or something. Ooh. <laughs> tequila ain't going to help you. I, those, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what you're trying to accomplish where coffee and tequila would suffice. Like, what, how would coffee and tequila she help said, you? She did say or, but. that's r- Right, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Coffee would give me energy. Tequila would make me crazy. Oh, she wants a little courage, liquid courage. Oh, tequila makes you crazy? So you guys didn't drink tequila whiskey makes today? her clothes come we off. We didn't drink whiskey yet. Why didn't we drink whiskey? Do you wanna? Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Lindy, the backbone of the whiskey club. Lindy Lou, the backbone of the whiskey club. All right, somebody go grab us <laughs> Hey, grab us glasses. <laughs> oh, there's some right over there. And there's some whiskey right there. There you go. All right. Well, you grab it. Anyway, well, welcome to the show, honey. Glad to have you. Zach, welcome back. What? What were we gonna say? Oh, well, welcome back, Zach, and welcome to the show, Honey Bunny. Uh, today, we've got a, uh, a fun show for you. Do we? We do. <laughs> today, <laughs> I don't like that smile. We are face. gonna talk about, I don't know what we're gonna talk about. <laughs> I had a total blank. We decided that we weren't gonna plan any topics for the show. We were just gonna, uh, and by we, I mean I, I decided that we weren't going to plan any topics for the show we were just going to press, press record and uh on my wife's first day back from her extended her from her sabbatical from a <laughs> six month sabbatical that she took she had a a, a, a throat surgery oh oh don't mind 50 what? cent popping up in the background from my computer here uh she had a throat surgery i don't know what? <laughs> she had sex. She had a throat that's surgery and couldn't talk for months. Oh, that's I'm like, that's, geez, that's a, a well, I won't tell you where I want. You pouring whiskey, honey? Yeah. Let's go. Well, you just handed me a cup with a spider in it. Oh my god! Is this a fucking joke? 
<laughs> no, go. What the? F- <laughs> That's legit a dead spider. In that Dude, there's a spider in my cup. Where, welcome, were, where well, were these? We welcome watched, to the. Well, you rinse mine out too. I welcome to the it. ranch. Hey, yeah. Just go rinse them. Jeez, what a <laughs> shit show. You know what? This, this. Oh, oh you geez, saw it? That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you did it on purpose, you dirty dog. Well, that's listen, we're changing the name of our show to uh, The Shit Show. Because oh. that's what this show is. Right oh, now. Okay. It's a shit show. Okay. Which is also the name of my boat, which you know. But to our audience, I have a boat. It's a <laughs> double-decker pontoon with a slide on it. And it is named The Shit Show. I personally miss the money shot. Oh, um, that was the OG. Speedboat. Yeah, that was the OG. That was like a 97 crown line, um, <clears throat> like a cuddy cabin we used to cruise up and down the river with. That was yeah. awesome. Yes, sir. Yeah, dude, we rocked on that thing. Uh, I'm happy to not have that boat anymore. I'm sure Why? when my wife gets back with this lovely whiskey there you are. Honey, what do you uh do you miss the the we were talking about the boat. We we decided we're gonna name this show uh today we're gonna call it the shit show because that's what we currently are. Great We've idea. got potential whiskeys, guests that are getting up walking around, spider <laughs> deliveries in glasses, no topic of conversation. Very no random. Yeah, we this is the show of all shows. It's 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 the shit show. My brother said when I named the boat the shit show, he said also the title of your autobiography. Mm. I thought that was hilarious. And I'm like, yeah, it is kind of just my life. That ain't the truth. In a nutshell. But uh, Grady reminded us of the money shop. You remember the money shop? Oh, yeah. What do you think of that? I don't miss it. We had a lot of issues with that boat. Oh, it was was falling apart. Yeah, it was old. Yeah, it was old and boats. It was great for a first, you know, like your first car, your first house, your first boat. Yeah. It was cool. We enjoyed that boat. So the, the story of that boat was... Um, mm-hmm. what the money? I, I know the story. Of What's the, the story of the boat? Is when you were trying to save money and yeah. you said, oh, "I'm going to buy a boat, and that's going to be our vacation for the next three years." I was going to tell the story of the mon- the name Money Shot. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> the story I don't of know that, that story <laughs> comes from a Lincoln firefighter. Um, remember? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And he got divorced, mm-hmm. and uh, he named the boat the Money Shot. As and, a single uh, guy, I guess. No. Uh, his wife, God, I probably shouldn't talk about it. Yeah, let's not, rude, but, let's not throw uh, some no, they, yeah, they, uh, they, they did not, uh, they did not work out. Um, so he was selling the boat, but he was telling us stories, man. He was like, oh yeah, dude, this boat, this boat's seen it all. So you bought the boat from him. Correct. Already named the money show. Correct. Mm-hmm. I and you not. didn't want to rename it nope. as to confuse the boat. No. Oh, Correct. We didn't want to upset the boat. Yeah, and I actually asked him if I could. Uh, I'm like, do you mind if I not don't change the name of the boat? And he was like, Are you serious? Like he that was, like was an honor. Yeah, he was, he was <laughs> like, Oh my god, I would love nothing more. Like he he thought about taking the name of the boat off when he listed it for sale because it oh. said the money shot on the back of it. He found the right people. Yeah, he found the right people. That's right. We did the money shot. We did that name. Uh, <laughs> Justice. What? Huh? What? 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 Huh? what do you mean he found the right people? <laughs> Just the right sense of humor, people. There were no money shots taken on. Uh, is on that a, maybe, is know. that etiquette when you adopt a pet? I don't know the answer, but we got some like goats a from a, a lovely lady named Jane uh, through another mutual friend. She was very sweet. She bought. She brought us uh, animals like uh, farm animals. Well, you're renaming all yours. We you renamed have a, them. You yep. have a theme. Correct. Well, we renamed them because we didn't want their names to be Taylor Swift anymore. Oh, okay. Because, okay. because although Jane did name those uh, things before Taylor Swift was a real big star, <laughs> before like an, the election cycle. Is that what she said? No. Oh no. It's just, <laughs> if no, you're wondering how Taylor Swift got big, uh, listen to the last episode. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's right. Exactly. They're we only know that. A year old, so that couldn't have been true. But anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But all before all this Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey yeah, craze, that's, that's for sure. That's oh, true. Yeah. Before they were brought to us by Pfizer. Mm-hmm. Back when they were just brought to us by whatever music label was brought to us by Pfizer. Mm-hmm. You know, because all roads lead to yeah. Pfizer. Yeah. You know, you know that whole thing. That old chestnut. That old chestnut. <laughs> anyway, um, so honey, you being our guest of honor today, um, 
we have decided, and by we, I mean Zach and I, and by Zach and I, I mean I, have <laughs> decided that today we're going to interview you. Oh. <laughs> Is this just on the whim? Yeah. On a whim? And okay. it's going to be no preparation. I don't have any you questions need, You might scripted. need to take that sweater off because you're in the fucking hot seat right That's now. right. Yeah, you're getting, well. things are heating up a little over here. I can feel it. I can feel the energy. It's good. We got the whiskey now flowing. I'm sorry it's not tequila or milk or, or coffee. Milk. <laughs> or whatever you, whatever you said. <laughs> Like I'm sorry, it's Can not. Can I get that. a glass of two percent real quick? Yeah, I need I need tequila or milk. <laughs> oh, what? I, I don't. I'm not sure I understand how, but and I still don't understand. But I I'm gonna I let you need, slide on that one. I might need one more cup. Glass so of this. she well, said coffee. Come I'm on. gonna think of a question, and while I think of a question, uh, Zach's I, gonna ask. <laughs> yeah, Zach's gonna ask his question, and then while he you answer his question, I'll still be thinking of a question, and then uh, we'll go from there. No. Um, yeah, that's, that's actually how we're going to do this. So if you have a question, you want, we're putting Lindy on the hot seat. Yeah. Well, the audience always is like, we need to hear more from the girl. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, everyone wants <laughs> the to hear girl. We want to hear more from Let the girl girl. talk. Let the, the target, the target manager or whatever, <laughs> whatever they called you. That was um, so let's, one uh, red shirt. Yeah. You wore one red shirt. And the funniest part was we actually had a target manager on. <laughs> and they didn't even call the target manager a target manager. Uh, um, that is true. Yeah. So, anyhow. Hilarious. All right. So, first question uh, for you. We're going to start easy, and we'll uh, we'll take them a little more depthy as as the uh, the interview goes on. We appreciate you being here again. Oh, I'm uh, having a great time. Thanks yeah. for having me on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Spending your time with us again. Um, but what my first question is going to be is what is your greatest pleasure of uh of living out in the county now oh what's your favorite part Hmm. what do you love the most about living out in the county can i give you my top three Mm. Oh, yeah. I'm okay. not going to limit your answers. So, okay. yes. You so, did say favorite. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to give you one. Lindy doesn't have favorite anything. She's <clears throat> got favorites of everything. Okay. So, I kind of already knew what I was getting into. Yeah. Um, I would prefer you do them in order from, you know, either three best. to we have best okay. to worst. I mean, okay, I'll do best I did to worst. say favorite. Mm-hmm. Favorite. I okay. will do best to worst. Okay. I mean, best to least best. Okay. Okay. So number one being the best, three being the worst. In that order, you're going to start at the best. Number one would be... No, no, no. I want you to start at number three. Okay. okay. Yeah, I like that too. Work up to the best. I think we should build the suspense mm-hmm. for the audience. I agree. Thank okay. you. Good call. That's why you're my co-host. All right. She's just a guest. You. All right. <laughs> number three would be freedom out here to, mm. you know... You walk around naked, don't you? Uh, no, we have not yet. Mm. That's not true. Outside? Oh no! Are you free balling in front of your big glass window though? Sometimes I do. I walk yeah. over like you know the Superman pose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and get out of the shower. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> of course. Freedom would be um, one of the third best things. So, add some context to that. Then. Okay, so our boys, we can let them roam. Oh, okay. And not see them for two hours and not worry because well. That's mm-hmm. fair. I do worry a little bit sometimes because they have a <laughs> yeah, little bit great too free guys. of a spirit. Yes, <laughs> but I know they're either. You did know, you say it smells like Teen Spirit? No. What did you say about something Teen? Did you say what? It did kind of sound like that though. Hmm. I don't know well, what you good oh, news is. I said no. I do actually worry about them because they're a little bit too much of a free spirit. Uh, <laughs> oh, my I do worry yeah. about them because it smells like Teen Spirit. <laughs> I got that too, it. though. Well, we had it on record. We were going to eventually find out what you said. So, mm-hmm. Anyhow, go on. Um, and the next thing would be the, hmm, I don't know. I think that and sunsets and, and just God's beauty everywhere. So like the sun the rises, the sun sets, just the, the big open sky, the fresh air, the, the, like all the storms that come through the snow, like all of it is just so beautiful. Did something turn off? No, I think we're good. Okay. Continue. So um, that's number two. Yeah. The, the masterpieces. 
I don't know what number one is. Oh, you don't no. know what your favorite thing is out oh, here? No, <laughs> no that, was, that was gonna be my number well, one. Well, what is number one? All right, <laughs> let's let's do number two and number one will be the same thing. So we're gonna do your top two. That's fine. The okay, yeah, you only needed two. one to actually qualify. <laughs> oh, 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 so you said three. Damn it! She I did yeah, say three. You extended I remember. your answer to three and then only delivered two. I Why for- didn't you just extend it to two? I forgot. The other thing is the animals. Which bring me a lot of joy and purpose. This sounds like a scripted answer. <laughs> yeah, you read They me? bring me joy and purpose. She's got a script in that whiskey. <laughs> no, I was just thinking about it before, like five minutes ago, because I was oh. like, why do I love the animals? But they just, they, lately, Cora has been mm-hmm. obsessed oh, with them so and wants to go out there in the morning before school and... Um, She's turned into a little farm girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. And she... So it's funny because she sounds just like me when she goes. Um, when we go every night to put them inside, and she's like, "Hi guys." <laughs> she <laughs> says the same thing. That's what Lindy says. Hi guys. Yep. And then she comes in. Hi guys. And I'm like, oh my god, it's like watching a little mini That's version hilarious. of her. It's so yeah, funny. they're so fun. They're, t- I mean, the the boys. I feel like they love them, but they. Have, just became a kind of a chore for them yeah. you know they enjoy playing with them for you know 10 15 minutes but i could spend hours out there with them i just love it hmm. i never I, and i want more animals and more animals and more animals um but i've been told no okay <laughs> <laughs> but she has been told no uh yeah. follow-up question what's your favorite animal oh, the oh goats. The how goats. hopefully they're not listening <laughs> the goats are my favorite. Really? Yes. What do you favorite. think the peacock's going to think about that? Well, Just he's an asshole. He doesn't ever come down. He doesn't let us pet him. He's still acclimating. He's a bird that we shoved in a barn. The chickens are great, too, and they're We stole up. him from his natural habitat, purchased him, put him in a kennel. And you're like, play with us. Delivered him here, moved him from one barn to another, and then threw him around a bunch of mean-ass chickens that wanted to peck his feathers off. And then with some goats and some other farm animals, and you'd expect them just to be, like, lovable? Well, that would be my favorite animal if he would come near me, I think. But the peacock? The goats are mm-hmm. the, they're the most friendliest. They just they run to you, or yeah. they run to me when I get there. They're so excited. They're so fun. They eat my hair, they, and then they pull me because <laughs> I have my hair down, and they grab it. And then I have to. They they, phys- they physically abuse me. It's great. Yeah. I really yeah. love them. I really it's love pretty them. funny to watch Lindy go in there because she gets down to like goat level, yeah. and then they just start eating her face. <laughs> she's like, oh, oh, okay, you got my hair. They're, okay. leg- they're legitimately yeah. trying to attack her. Yeah. She's like, guys, stop. And like, what's the favorite part? She's like, the goats. <laughs> but this day, she's a glutton for punishment. She loves getting abused. Oh, but shit. one of the sheep, one of the since we're talking about the animals, one of our little lambs. Um. Cora went to go pet him on the forehead, and you you cannot do that. And she forgot because they just they they one of them backed up and went and rammed her and knocked her flat on her ass. If you touch their forehead, <laughs> they that's think what it's happened? like a oh you want to yeah, fight yeah maybe. And they do it every time. Kason is, I feel like he does it on purpose. <laughs> Kason's trying to freaking headbutt a goat or a oh, lamb. Can kick yep. a sheep's ass. They're and a goat. You know that's kind of how they fight. They. They yeah. But they'll knock a five-year-old right on Oh, they knocked her right on her ass. It was hilarious. She was she okay, though? She didn't cry or anything. Oh, yeah. She, she was, was shocked. She was like, yeah. oh, uh, uh, we're like, it's okay, it's okay. I'm yeah. trying to make her not cry. Um, <clears throat> it was fun. Funny. It was Watch hilarious. It. She, I yeah. couldn't breathe. I was laughing so hard. Yeah, it's one of those things. Actually, on that uh, Cat Williams that I was talking about on that episode of Rogan, he was like, yeah, just kind of a natural thing like all humans when someone gets... Someone trips and falls. We all just laugh. Right. It's a natural. Not sure why. It was one of his uh, his reasons for belief in God. That why were we all born with that? Speaking of animals, our orange cat just got spayed. <clears throat> so she's been sleeping up in Monroe's room because she can't be around the other cats because they like the lick it. They'll lick the wound too much, and it'll like I don't know. We were just told not to put it around the other cats. That's and interesting. So Monroe's had it in her room. And I went in there the other day, and there's a, a sack, a Target sack hanging from her wall, like just wall decor, like <laughs> on her wall, <laughs> just hanging. And I'm like, oh, what's that? She's like, oh, I changed, I emptied the cat litter. And I'm like, oh, 
And just a bag of shit hanging. <laughs> a bag of shit. Just catch it. <laughs> Why did she hanging do that? I don't know. She was gonna reuse the bag, I guess. I don't know. Oh, she's that's like, hilarious. just oh, I emptied the cat litter, and I'm like, and you hung the bag of shit. On your wall. What did she say? Yeah, yeah. Makes of course perfect. I did. <laughs> what else was I gonna do with it? <laughs> but oh, I was just, man. Oh, I, mean, I was kind of proud of her for even doing the chore, <laughs> but. Oh shit! Maybe reevaluate that's, that's where we put the cat. The cat, shit. the cat is my probably my favorite because we. Mm, I, I don't know if you classify as a, a farm a, animal yeah. though. Yeah. But I did just buy a self-cleaning kitter lo- kitter kitty kitter kitter litter kitter, litter. Litter. kitter box kitty kitter box. litter box. Really? You yes. bought it? I bought it. It arrives on Tuesday. Which one did you buy? You have to because tell me how that goes. I love the cat. I can't stand Did you buy the one that's like a little cat house? The igloo? It's a little igloo. It looks like, Lindy was like, this is an awesome litter box. I'm like, that is a bathroom. That is not a litter box. That <laughs> that's is a, a, it's a got a bidet bathroom. in there? That's a, that's a cat, right. That's a cat <laughs> bathroom. You, you do it from your phone. Yes. Oh, yeah. Listen, yeah. If, we're, we're, if we're having a cat. <laughs> Where does it go, though? I don't understand the And now Matt said the cat's not allowed back in I got to send it back. <laughs> I did because I made, listen, I made a commitment to, I'm not going to cohabitat with animals. Like I'm not just not doing it. You got out the farm. Cool. I'm cool with animals. I don't dislike animals. Here's what I dislike. I dislike cat hair mm-hmm. on my hard boiled eggs. Oh, that's what I dislike. That happened. And that happened. So now I'm like, all right, and listen, then now you draw the line. That's where I draw the line. Mm hmm. I am not going to this. I, I can't do hair, bro. I don't want like it's well, bad enough. Welcome, I got Lindy. Welcome to my hell. No. Yeah. Get out of there. <laughs> you, you have run. dog and cat hair. You get out of there. I have a fast. husky. <laughs> yeah. Get run. Do you need a pl- do you need help? Do you need? Yeah. Blink. OK. OK. <laughs> Sending the signal. I can. I'll save you. I'll get you out You're of right. there. All right. I see videos and fucking helicopter pictures of him snuggling all the animals all the time. Stop it. Loves cat hair in his mouth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Yeah. I'm not doing it. Yeah. I can't I deal. Under- I understand. We're gonna I have get some it. some sad kids, but he's going to have to explain We're just going to have to have the cat go outside. It's, what do you mean sad? We're not like... It ain't going anywhere. Yeah, we're not offing the cat. Like We're not taking it away from them. We're not selling it. We're not donating it to charity or whatever you do with does cats it, you don't want. Does it sleep with... What do you do with cats right you don't want? You take her to the rescue? Yes. Yeah. A humane society. Yeah, he made society. No, we let, need three more cats. You let them off them. We need three more cats for this property. Dude, so. we need seven more cats. You getting a lot of rodents? No. Not yet? No, but it's, uh, I think it's manageable. I mean, I think, yeah, we need more cats to prevent, sort of a prevention method. Mm-hmm. You know, so we don't, we don't have a problem, but we don't want a problem either. You're trying to be proactive. Yeah. We're Not trying to be reactive. Pro- plus, listen, uh, we've decided we like the cat. Yeah. I mean, we like our yeah, cat. Yeah, you got a good farm cat. We got a good farm cat. Our you cat's cool. He's a Russian spy. Well, <laughs> there's that. Yep. But I guess it has to be cool if it's a Russian spy. If you're like a dick, like nobody. Yeah, you're not going to survive. Yeah. Like, yeah. they're out of here. Right. Yeah, that's why I'm like, come on. You're telling me we got the <laughs> coolest cat. The the closest thing to a hypoallergenic cat as you can get. Uh, a kind, sweet cat. Get and, out of here. And talking about coming from nowhere. That cat just... <sighs> Poof was on your property. Poof. The like the day after we bought the property, Josiah, the kid who actually just called, is like, yeah, it's like a great cat down there. Really. I've seen <laughs> that a couple times. I don't know. And then we were like, oh, a great cat. And it kind of a little sketch ball, a little tiny little, maybe two, two and a half Yeah, pounder. it was really young. It was right? a baby. Yeah. Yeah, somebody was somebody took a little spy kitten and was like, well, they're not going to take him if he's a full-grown cat. We better make it a kitten. <laughs> uh, implanted a little spy chip in him, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Now he roams around my property, taking <laughs> malfunctioning. <laughs> yep, malfunctioning, <laughs> taking pictures with his eyeballs. Cats have lizard eyeballs, which is weird. Reptilian eyeballs. Did you know that? Uh, yeah, I think I did. Uh-huh. They, uh huh. You know any other species eyes. got them eyeballs that go into those reptile slits? Uh, lizard people. Dude, lizards and cats. Okay, next question. No, not next question. That's a big fucking next deal. Question. Like, if this is little rush, if this little spy cat has <laughs> lizard eyes, explain to me how lizards or cats have lizard eyes. And I don't know if that's actually true. Is it? Google it. Okay. 
The lizard people of some level have delivered us little devices that we can Google their existence <laughs> from, right from the palm of your hand, like a palm pilot. Do cats have lizard have eyes? Lungs. That's <laughs> <laughs> cats share their distinctive vertical slit oh, that like looks exactly pupils. Like our cat. That is your cat. Oh, shit. Your your cat is on the Google search for <laughs> lizard eyes. You y'all thought I was playing. Oh wait, Cro- foxes and crocodiles. Well, crocodiles a lizard. That's a reptile. Foxes. Oh, a fox. Fox is a cat. And there was also a fox around the property the day we looked at it. Remember, we haven't seen him since though, have you? Nope. I haven't caught him on uh, cameras. Cameras. He probably got. It's the vertical F'd pupils. Up. That's what it is. Yeah. Dude, not vertical pupils. Reptile eyes. Slit like vertical. Don't pupils. try and church it up, kid. That's what it says. Yeah, we have a vertical pupiled Russian spy, shift shape shifting fox being lizard cat <laughs> is what we got that takes pictures like this. Its eyeballs are slits and they go. <laughs> he takes pictures, video, all sorts of oh, shit. Here. Vertical pupils are most commonly seen in predators that hunt during both day and night. Yes. Oh. Lindy's fully convinced that our cat is nocturnal because it just sleeps all day. She's like, yep, he was out hunting all night long. So he's going to come inside for a nice long nap today. And Nine cat- hours. Domestic cats have retained the hunting instinct of their wild ancestors despite no longer needing to hunt for survival. No, because Lindy feeds them. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, uh, I was trying to bring that cat back to its roots. I've him- tried leaving the cat at the barn, and you are the one that brings it oh, back. Oh, here you go. That's true. I like the uh, cat. Cats hunt by crouching and stalking their prey before pouncing on it, and vertical pupils help with this. To pounce accurately, it is important to ambush hunter, that ambush hunters are able to gauge the distance between them <gasps> and their prey. So they're gauging their distance. No. <clears throat> the narrow opening of the pupil allows greater focus directly in front of them so that the hunter can better judge how they need to jump in order to land on the prey. So you're telling me that if I was going to get into like a fight with you you need to get a vertical if i had a somehow. vertical pup- pupil i can gauge distance better and squ- and land punches more accurately Probably. like assuming that i knew exactly the length i needed to be away from you for the highest mm-hmm. level of impact of that punch if i had a lizard pupil why do lizards have those eyes same for reason you think well, they probably hunt during the night and day and they need to gauge depth like that? Well, yeah, because it's also a lighting thing. The Listen, amount of light that's getting in it. This out. was supposed to be an interview for Lindy. <laughs> I told you. Damn it. All right, we'll deep. get back to it. We've got one more question. More. Maybe two more. Okay. Let's What's go. your next question, Zach? <laughs> All right, my... What are you most excited about uh, approaching retirement? Oh. I was going to... Uh, Mine was going to be retirement based. Yoink. I yoinked My most it. excited thing. I'm. Yeah, what are you most excited about? When is your actual you... retirement That's date? May 1st. Uh, oh. But I will tell you, I have the answer. Not having to ask Big Daddy to go anywhere or to do anything. Mm-hmm. To be free. To be, to get as many earrings or piercings or tattoos. I want that face tat. Color my hair. Well, are you going to get a, t- are you going to get a piercing? Are you, Maybe. What are you going to get? Maybe. I don't know. You never had, you don't have to ask Big Daddy or Uncle Sam to get a tattoo, do you? I mean, if I get one on my face. Are you going to get a fucking <laughs> tattoo on your face? That's what I'm saying. Maybe behind my I ear. mean, you did get a hand tattoo and you didn't ask him. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> I no, you're I allowed the, to do I that. I read the regulation on that. You can do it. Yeah, if it's a Maybe wedding not. band. You yeah. can if it's a wedding band. Um, Kind of a wedding band. <laughs> like color, if I want to put sleeve, some not color in my hair. Yeah. Or... If I want to leave the country, I are won't you ever have to ask hey, anyone again. Are you? That's an awesome. Yeah, so. That's what I'm most excited about. I love that answer. Uh, I wanted to, to jump into what you want to do on that, but I should probably address that. Yeah, that's a huge answer. Um, understanding that literally for 22 years, anytime we wanted to travel anywhere, mm-hmm. anywhere. Outside, outside of your home of record radius. Yeah. We had to ask approval in hopes that, uh, and I don't want to sound too anti-military, but I can tell you this much. 
to be a 40 year old and have to say, can I go and have them say no? That option's there. Like right. it's a possibility. Now it doesn't yeah. happen a lot. No, but it, it has happened. It has uh, happened. It did yeah. happen to me. Okay. Where, when did it happen? It, first of all, it only happened once to you, which is uh, a very you positive. You have to go through it's, a very, very long process to go anywhere outside of the country. Very long, like three months long. Well, mm-hmm. they got to make sure you're not bringing classified documents with you and meeting with uh, <laughs> They make you take pictures uh, of your left government. side, your right side, like uh, any markings on your body. I mean, it's pretty in-depth. But um, Dubai. Yeah, you should have just did what I do. Mm. Dubai, they... Not ask permission and hope nothing goes wrong. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that that's uh that's another option. But you just uh, you know, that's a big deal mm. for for people who want to be free. The you know, ironically, the two. Um, that's why you're my my lady, babe. I love you. You're why? the best. Because I just asked you two questions, and the answer, the number one answer for both of them was freedom and freedom, <laughs> which is fucking awesome. And uh, and and it's no surprise to anyone on this earth that you're my wife because we appreciate our freedom. And when they're taken away from us, we recognize it. Like, hold on a second. When you joined the military, you know, and the 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 vaccine was another, um, you know, another f- freedom that essentially we forfeited. Um, That's the word I was going to use. You do agree to forfeit some of your freedoms. Oh, yeah, sure. we do. Mm-hmm. A yeah. lot. Free sp- we, we forfeit our, our right to free speech. Yeah. I, I mean, we're. that's why I couldn't, I, I had to, and I still censor myself until Lindy is out of the military because I fear reprisal, which has happened. We're, you know, persecution at a very high level for commanders and those in, in positions of authority that disagree with me or that believe that I am misusing my rights, um, or, uh, or they just, d- they hate me, you know, or hate us, um, to give them another excuse to, to persecute and punish in a position where they actually can. Right. You oh, know, yeah. in the civilian world, I could just say, fuck you, I quit. You don't like me. You can just say, fuck you, you're fired. But in the military and in the government side of things, they say, oh, no. I can ruin your fucking life. We're going to make yeah. your life fucking miserable and you can't quit. Yeah. You literally are trapped. So, you know, if you're a person like me, you know, which is why I believe as I was growing up, those who have known me my whole life would probably agree that I haven't changed much. I've obviously, you know, become more mature. I've, I've become an adult and I've got a lot more experience that has shaped me who I am today. But all in all, I am what I am. Like I same personality, I, same yeah. attitude. Yeah. And I was the type of person that people would be like, Oh, you would never make it in the military because I don't do well <laughs> with authority, aka I don't like it when someone takes my freedom or my rights. And I never have. Um I was willing to get away with, you know, having it not be a huge infringement on my, you know, really staunch beliefs or freedoms for a long time. I was able to you know, maybe maybe shamefully in the military, sort of break my oath um, in some ways and not censor myself speech wise like many uh, higher higher ranking military professionals do. And they do well, like, hey, I'm supposed to be, you know, apolitical or, or nonpartisan. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm here to serve the Constitution and the people and that's it. I don't care. That's another thing is to speak freely. Yeah. I know you've already mentioned that, but that's a good like I I can't put a lot out there about my feelings and my beliefs and i i'm excited to be able to do that freely freely. yeah yeah that's interesting yeah that's a that's a big deal if you're considering that you know just know that when when you when you don't want to you know up up, and and again i won't i won't go down the the covid rabbit hole but you know we experienced that at a high level where um in the civilian sector people were like you know, being forced to do things and their job dependent on it. Uh, that's the way it is always when you enlist in the United States Army. Like, you're forced right. to do something where your job depends on it. Like, you lose the right to... And it's not just a simple, I quit or you're fired. It's a, yeah. we're going to smear your records. When you go to apply for any jobs, there's a, a dishonorable discharge on your record. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and you know, it, it reminds me of, a, of an old employer I'll... I'll I'll reserve the name uh, for 
you know, off the air, but um, he said, when, when I had first come off active duty, he said, this isn't the army. You can get fired, you know. And I was so in tune with what that meant without hesitation. I said, no, this isn't the army. I can fucking quit. Like, just so you know, I left a, uh, and I left the active duty component on, on so, not a bad note. It was actually a really good note, but a sour taste in my mouth because um, they were trying to keep me. They were trying to retain me because I was good at my job and they wanted me to continue to produce for them. Um, You're talking recruiting? Recruiting, yep. Um, and they tried to lock me in. And because I was on my initial enlistment still, I had done it early, but I was, you know, I wasn't indefinite, mm -hmm. um, but I had converted. I was like, no, 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 no. I can, I can just, I don't have to do this as my Sergeant Major told me I had to, uh, because he didn't know that I was coming up on my first enlistment. Like my, my three years is up, it's over. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I couldn't convert without their approval, but I could ETS. I yeah. could, yep. I and, could refrad. Term. Yep. I could refrad and, and go back and so a release from active duty. I could, I could basically leave, but I knew that had I reenlisted, I could no longer quit. They had me trapped. Mm -hmm. So I had no choice but to do that. And then that job coming in, I had a boss that said, this isn't the army. You can get fired. I'm like, no, bitch. The beauty of having a job is I could say, fuck you. I couldn't do that in my last job. Uh, so that's probably my biggest thing is I, I, don't, I don't feel as a 41-year-old man um, – of of my mentality really my 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 men, my yeah my mental state that i should have to just deal with something that i don't like and that doesn't mean i couldn't work for or with somebody but if you believe something as strongly in the opposite direction as i do in the opposite direction probably not going to work out right and for me to just have that option to be like this is cool but I'm out like you are you want to hire somebody or you want to employ somebody or be friends with somebody or have a relationship or a partnership with somebody that you agree with or did like you have that right. But I also don't need to be a part of that. And when you enlist in the United States Army, you it, don't get that. It's you can't quit. I don't know about you guys, but for me personally, up until COVID, it really didn't affect me that much like it didn't bother me like uh, yeah. until COVID and they started force feeding that, you know, narrative down us mm -hmm. like, cause flu shots. I was like, yeah, whatever, you know, get your annual flu shot, blah, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, annual physical, which for annual years physical. I didn't get by the way. And nobody ever gave a single solitary <laughs> really? shit. No, by the time it got on their radar, it next, was our next, next year. year cycle was already <laughs> done. Like that was over and done with whatever, spreadsheet you know was read for however long by the time they can get it caught up flu shot, flu shot was over it was the next year already but i so. think i think for a lot of people when covid hit for and sure. the army military started pushing it a lot of people opened up and were like wow man like Holy they could shit. literally make me do anything yeah if they wanted to I think that was intentional yeah you think that was intentional get man? rid of the yeah, get rid of the people like you yeah the purge. don't want to conform yeah mm-hmm Get rid of everybody. Replace us with, uh, yes, man, with all the illegal immigrants that are <laughs> crossing our border. That I are did just see an article military about age a, men an that, Air Force somebody getting that are used to not having rights and being willing to do whatever they want. What did you say? Interesting. Mm -hmm. I saw. I didn't read the much about the article, but there was something about a a guy who joined the Air Force and got citizenship in like record time or something like that. Oh yeah, wouldn't be surprised if they start doing that. They're turning illegal immigrants into police officers same thing yeah they purged mm -hmm. the police departments demonized them vilified them called them baby killers and shoved a test drug down their throat exposed same as they did exposed it yeah man i don't know i don't know if it was intentional what if it was but really ask yourself what if that was true could that happen the answer is yes that could have happened. Mm -hmm. um, whether or not it did happen or did happen intentionally or what the motive was, I mean, it, we know it could have happened. 
So now we just have to ask ourselves, what if that is what happened? And holy shit. Rut row. Rut row. Yeah. What do you mean they did all that? They at least identified. I mean, we've talked about it before. They at least identified those who are willing to blindly comply, those who are willing to wait longer until the 11th hour and push the envelope. And then um, it certainly... Guess who's not getting promoted. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, it awakened even the people that were... You know, all about that vaccine vey. You know, didn't give a shit. They're like, yeah, you've stuck me with everything else. Go right the fuck ahead. I don't care. Whatever. What's the difference? Like, even those people were then also awakened mm -hmm. to the fact that they had forfeited their rights because for years and years it was an all volunteer force. You know, they're incentivizing our 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 armed forces to, you know, grow. You know, recruiting and retention efforts were basically heightened for a 25 year period. Um, you know, they, they didn't want to force us out. They instead wanted to grow our numbers and grow our strength. And then all of a sudden overnight it was, we don't give a shit who you are. So for 20 plus years, a whole armed forces, like a whole generation, two generations or, or a whole cycle of, of careers plus maybe two cycles of careers were, we never had those rights really pushed. Never had the the tramp, you know, their rights trampled like that. And then all of a sudden, overnight, everyone went, "Holy shit! I don't think I'm down for this anymore." So speaking of recruiting in the uh, COVID world, I was talking sure. to a recruiter the other day. Um, at, when you were recruiting, what do you remember the standard being as far as enlistments? Oh, one grad and one other. So two a month. Two a month. Two a month, right? Right. I was Grat like, and Grat, is that you, honey? Is that what you remember? Uh, yeah. I just remember just two a month two is a month. all you yep. need. I, w I was talking to him. I was like, man, I couldn't even imagine. Because I got out of recruiting in February of 2020. And then March, obviously, mm. was the lockdowns. Um, oh, wow. You snuck out of there. Snuck out. Dog. I was like, dude, I couldn't even imagine. And now they can look up medical records. MEPS can look up medical records on anybody. I was telling people, I was like, man, I would not. Like, my whole success was being able to build rapport and people would do whatever the hell I wanted them to do. And they'd listen to me and trust me and get them through maps. I was like, I'm trying to help you get through maps as quickly as possible. You know, um, not hiding like dangerous shit. Like right, asthma that broken and stuff. arm you had yeah, in second, you had grade. a broken arm in second grade. Not going to affect you, dude. Shut the fuck up. You know, yeah. but now maps can look up anybody's records. So Whoa. all the ADD when you were fucking five and you know, all that shit. Um, but I was like, so what, is, what do they expect out of you guys? And it's one a month. And after three months, if you don't write a contract is when they start. So they give you like a three-month grace period of nothingness before they actually start doing something about it. I'm like, man, I remember going. So one I remember one months. year, <laughs> if you were under two, you had to go to like remedial training, you know. I remember going two, 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 like seven months in a row, went one, and I had to go to remedial training like I was a fucking shit bag. I was like, God, I remember that. I was like, God damn. We all do. Yeah. I do too. But I remember that. Zero roller training. Yep. I had to go to zero roller training. I was like, I was the number one recruiter in the whole battalion last year. And literally, the very next year, first quarter, I got to go to zero roller training. <laughs> Cal just gave me an award and said I was better than everybody in the whole battalion. And now I got, now I got to go to training. You're telling me I'm worse than everyone in the whole battalion. <laughs> Make up your mind because I feel like that trophy is a fraud at this point. Like, no, I, that's a uh, hero to zero dude. That's how it that's goes. The life of recruiters. You're only as good as your last month. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's how yep. it goes, man. Anyway. All right. Well, listen, I don't know what the, the great job on your interview, honey, Zach and I <laughs> took over, talked about our, our life. Um, fun episode to get a, get a little uh a little sneaker in there for for everyone to hear well, Lindy's we voice. should come up with questions for just lindy though and oh god have an all lindy episode i'm down for that and just not tell her more lighthearted than like those kind of got all serious on her but well it's that's not our fault we i tried to bring light like hey what's your what most she exciting? kept talking about freedom freedom freedom, freedom. <laughs> old mel gibson over here <laughs> freedom um but that is why you're my wife. That is why you're my lady. Because mm -hmm. you're most... What? What happened? His eyes. Did, oh, yeah, dude. ASMR. That's what it's like Sorry. listening to those Joe Rogan episodes I was talking about. Cat Williams. Yeah, dude. You can hear... 
Oh, yeah. And he's got that annoying voice, and you're still, mm. you can hear all the, it's like a ASMR meets uh, Gilbert Godfrey <laughs> meets super high conspiracy theories. <laughs> like, yeah, all in one. Anyway. I'm excited. Anyway, honey, I appreciate your uh, your love for this country and your love for freedom in all ways. My favorite part about being out in the county and out in the country is also freedom. Mm -hmm. I can walk out my back door and shoot a gun at a raccoon if I want to. Yeah. I can, naked. Yep. Naked. I don't, naked. Yeah, naked. You I can walk out. You guys don't take advantage of that enough, it sounds like. Shoot guns. Well, it's not summer yet. We haven't been Oh, that's true. Summer. That's true. It's been really cold. and that, we Yeah. A little cold outside, it's huh? It's cold for me to be walking outside <laughs> in the buff. No, the real reason would be, well, I mean, that would obviously play a part, but the real reason is uh, we've got a full time, like, there's never a moment where nobody's here. Yeah, that's true. Like, you the got only, people in yeah, and out. True. Yeah, there's people here hey, all Dom. the time. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dom. Hey, Eddie. We got painters and yeah. delivery guys, tru pump trucks, gas trucks, fuel trucks, it's contractors, drywallers, painters. Yeah, your someday property. I'm just going to change the code to the gate and be like, nope. No, I mean, just your property. Just walk around in the buff, dude. Oh, not my problem? Yeah. You don't not like my it? Problem. Don't you looked. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look the other way. It's not my problem. Anyway, freedom is great, and and the further you get Hello. away from uh, the further you get away from the cities, literally the more freedom you have. Like, mm -hmm. the the closer you get to a major city, the less you are allowed to have a gun. And the closer you are to God, in my opinion. Amen. I know that's right. You can uh, ground crazy. grounding is wonderful out here. He's painting the sky. Unless out you here. Step, st step on a stand burn. Unless you step on a sandbur, that's not God, that's hell. Grounding. That's Satan. Yeah. That's Satan uh -oh. grounding uh -oh. in sandburs. No, it doesn't. If it doesn't kill you, it only make you stronger. Right. Anyway, all right. Well, thank you all for uh thank you, Lindy, for oh, joining us. You are so welcome. I know They're our audience. Seat. Yes, I know our audience is just going to be oh, just dying overjoyed. <laughs> uh we've got a Matt and Lindy marriage episode coming soon yeah. for y'all. Um, but we wanted to give you a little Lindy teaser before we deliver that. Zach, I appreciate your, uh, as always, your questions and your thoughts. Yeah, and I came with nothing. You did. You well, we both brought a bunch of shit, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. We had a fun time, and we it's got good Lindy. Time. Yeah, we got Lindy back in the saddle, and uh, we're happy to have you back. Thank you. Glad to be back. Yeah, of course. For today, and for our audience, please like and share the show. Mm -hmm. Please share our message. Also that. Uh, Oh, there's some guy I saw on YouTube that uh, ends his show with uh, let us all remember something. Vodka sucks. It's a whiskey guy. <laughs> he ends it with let's all remember it. vodka sucks. So, uh, yeah, vodka sucks. And um, anyhow, thank you all for joining us. Please share the show. We appreciate your love and support. And as always, find your purpose, serve your purpose and protect your purpose. People. Peace.